I am the secretary at Bloomsburg for the Honors College. Hi, I'm Kayla May. I'm the associate director of the Honors College. Hi, I'm Julie Vandefeer, and I'm the director of the Honors College. One of the perks of being an honors student, um, you are fortunate to take five honors classes, at least five honors classes, um, and those honors classes are only 20 students, um, which is really nice because you have more one-on-one -on -one attention with the professor. The classes are more discussion-based. Um, the students actually will complete their five honors classes, but then will choose to take more because they like them so much. Um, they get that better one-on-one -on -one attention with the professors. Our honors classes uh, replace general education classes, so instead of um, a large lecture class of general psychology, we would put you in honors general psychology, and that's just 20 students. It's the same professor, um, but like I said, it's more intimate and more discussion-based. I wouldn't say the classes are necessarily harder. Um, I would say that the professors expect more of our students, um, but because they are smaller, um, they can get that one-on-one -on -one attention if they are struggling or have any issues with anything. Um, I've run a number of study abroads here at the university, but the honors study abroad is unique in that it is, even if you don't get a scholarship, it's very inexpensive. You get to spend a month in Europe for only about $500 more than if you stayed here in Bloomsburg and took six credits over winter term. The classes over there, there's there were six when I went and you get to choose them before you go over there. And I took a film class and I took a U uh, Jewish European experience class. Both classes are classes that I don't think I would have taken here because the European class, the uh, film class was a European film class. So I watched a whole bunch of I watched Russian films, films from Poland, films from all these places in Central and Eastern Europe that taught us the history of the places and how their film has evolved and how it's completely 100% 180 difference from our Hollywood movies that we watched. So that was super cool. Hi, my name's Ellen. I'm a member of the Honors College and I'm also lucky enough to be a mentor for the Honors College as well. Next to me are my mentees. Would you like to introduce yourselves? I'm Andrew, also part of the Honors College. I'm Robert, part of the Honors College. I'm Dom, also part of the Honors College. Okay, so my role as a mentor for the Honors College, I think the best way to sum it up is kind of just being like a big sister for the incoming freshmen and being that support system that they need. Um, some of the things that I do as a mentor is like plan events for my mentees to come, whether it be like social, academic, or leadership. Um, also, when the time to schedule the classes come around, since it's a very scary thing for the freshmen, a lot of us mentors set up an event where we teach them how to sign up. Being uh, a mentee under Ellen, it, it's done a lot for me, especially with like all of the other mentees. Almost all of us are super close friends now and hang out like all the time. And she's just been a helpful resource. we actually have a lot of different research opportunities so um, currently I'm taking HIS 1 which stands for Honors Independent Study 1 um, and I'm doing research within my department um, so I'm in communication sciences and disorders so I'm working with one of my professors to do research um, that she actually was already working on I just kind of like jumped in at the ground floor um, kind of got that started with her so I'm actually doing research with autism and aging so it's super awesome um, I kind of get to go out into the community and learn what it's like to be a researcher um, I helped develop like a survey um, that we're gonna send out to people um, so it's just really awesome to like have that interactive experience um, provided to you if you're in honors do you have to do research you do not have to do research so we have a ton of different paths that you can choose um, research is one of them. It's always offered to all of our students. Um, you don't have to do research within your department either. Um, so you can do it like I could do it in like the business department if I wanted to do it. Um, if I was just interested in that. But um, you don't have to do it through your department. Um, and it's not required, but it is, you know, offered if you want to take advantage of the opportunity. Some people don't want to do research. And so, the, or their majors don't require it. So we have a whole lot of different options for those people who don't want to and who don't need to do research. They can do an internship. They can do a study abroad um, for an experience option. They can take more classes. They can do leadership and service. 